in a land by the sea lived a lighthouse keeper and his one true love. The seasons passed with love and laughter marking the time, while singing and music filled their days. Their home was truly a lighthouse. The lighthouse keeper and his love lacked only one thing in life. But then their little girl arrived and their lives were complete. They named her Callie, and she called them Mom and Duds. Wow, want to taste? Sockwaltz? Definitely. loved mom and dads as much as they loved her. The three of them believed in happily ever after until one day. <laughs> oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. After his true love was gone, Duds never danced or sang. The lighthouse was dark. Callie couldn't make Duds happy, and he couldn't see that with his true love gone, Callie needed him more than ever. And as Dud's heart was breaking, the little girl's heart began to falter as well. And try as she might, she didn't get any better. In fact, no one could help her get well. Not doctors and not Dud's, who seemed to draw further from Callie each day. Can you eat a little breakfast? I'm not hungry, I guess. But maybe I'll have something. I'll go upstairs and get your suitcase. Your friend will be here any minute. Thanks, Duds. Are you sure you won't reconsider, Callie? Let us take you. It would mean so much to your daddy. Rose is already on her way up here to take me. Besides, we have work to do. Two birds, one stone, all that. Well, I wish you would have a change of heart. I'll call you tonight. Oh.
appreciate your coming out here, Rosie, but yeah, I can handle myself. I'm not a child. I know, but I'm fine, really. Let me come in with you, help you get settled. I am fine. Thanks. Callie. Once you have the surgery, you'll be out of the hospital in 10 days. And six weeks later, you'll be back to work, okay? Thanks, Rose. Responsibilities. I can't sit around here waiting forever. No, you can't. Oh, dear, I hope you don't mind me meddling, spreading out your quilt, but I just wanted to make it all nice and homey for you, not all hospitally. Uh, thank you. Is there somewhere I can plug in my computer? Oh, right down here. Isn't it beautiful? My grandbabies helped me and we won first prize. Can you believe it? First prize? The Christmas decorating contest. Now it's so adorable, I can't let it go. I think I'd be too lonely. So I've dubbed her my New Year's angel. And I got this hat to put on the halo. <laughs> what do you think? It's perfect. I got one for you, too. Um, I don't really do hats. 
Well, it's not for you, hon. For your IV. asking her for a bra size. I'm an A. <sighs> won't be getting too attached to this. Why not? Oh, you'll be doing cycles for just like that. You see, uh, uh, Frank here, he's a typo, and, and they're very difficult to come by. You see, the typos are always getting elbowed out by those needy A's and B's like you and me. You're still here. Going on three months. This is another case where size definitely counts. Hey, everybody. Here's to a healthy new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Here, here. Yeah, happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Healthy New Year. Happy New Year, man. doing here? What else are we going to do on New Year's Day? Stay home nursing our hangovers? No, oh, it's depressing. This isn't depressing. No. <laughs> it was worth fighting the traffic just to see your face, girl. Yes, it was. Oh, how sweet. You came all this way to see Callie. <laughs> I'm Darlene. And this is Nurse Lulu. Hi. Here's Jennifer, Tina, Matthew, and I'm Rose. We work with Callie at the magazine. The magazine? She didn't tell you? What, are you ashamed of us? Uh-oh. Oh, look what we brought you. Oh. <laughs> Put my face on a supermodel's body. <laughs> I think it's a perfect match. New heart. New bra size makes a weird kind of sense. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And look what else we got you. A little room decoration. Oh, what's that? She's a Jean Kelly woman, didn't she tell you? That's why she needs a new heart. She gave hers to Jean. Woe is me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, balloons. you are welcome. Happy New Year, honey. Happy New Year, honey. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. You be good, too. I'll catch up with you guys. So, how are you really doing? I'm waiting. At the end of the waiting, I either get a second chance or I die. Come on, don't talk like that. You'll be all right. You take care. Got me in a 
unavoidable wife. Huh? Don't get too excited there, buddy. It's the kind they sell for gag gifts over at the mall. Don't overstimulate you. I said I wish you didn't have to be alone while you waited for your heart. Mm. And Daddy said maybe we should buy it, like you can buy a puppy. So Daddy did, and I named her Lila. Lila, huh? Here, you take her. Thank you. Thank you very much. I had nothing to do with the purchase of the lovely Lila, I assure you. I bet you didn't. <laughs> Amy, you look beautiful. Really, you look good. Yeah. Mm. for a walk. <clears throat> you feel like coming? Darlene? You okay? <gasps> All right, prepare yourself for this one, my friend. And believe you me, that is a word. Right there. Hopefully me, you can also look at the dictionary if you want. I see you met the lovely Lila. Grow up. You know, you should laugh more. Heard it's good for you. High five. and 20 hours. These are for you. Thanks. We should find some water for these. What? Are you all right, Callie? Sorry, sir. We, we, we truly apologize. I'm okay. See? I'm okay. Mark over here. She's gonna be
that's what you are. That's why you've been playing with me. Rank oh. appropriate, rank and dirty. Uh oh. Night one of Celebrity Ballroom is underway. Let's go down on the floor for the freestyle on Judge Dance, where every team is putting the best foot forward. Annette? Bang. Am I laughing? Should be. Why is everyone laughing all the time? It's inappropriate. <laughs> What's so funny about this? Any of it? You know her from her hit television show. Uh, listen, about today, Kelly. You know, we didn't mean nothing by it. I didn't know the old man was gonna react like that. You know, it's just in this place, if you if you don't laugh, you cry. It's just this long, dry spell. You know, I keep telling people on the outside, what I say about seatbelts, huh? Complete waste of time. And airbags? Who needs them? Did you ever once stop to think that the person out there walking around with his own good heart deserves to keep it more than any one of us deserves to get it? Ha ha! We come to the championship final of Celebrity Ball. Three teams will buy for the title. After 15 weeks of non-stop rehearsal competition, Survivors are near exhaustion as we get ready for the championship round. Woo! Yes, yes! What's up? Frank got the call. He's getting hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frank, how you doing? You holding up? <laughs> I'm trying to. You're doing good. You're doing real good. Maybe Callie's right. Maybe I don't deserve it. Maybe there's there's some poor suck out there worse off. No, don't, Frank. You do deserve it. You want us to pray with you, Frank? Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, we commit to you, our good brother Frank, asking that you will hold him like a bird in the palm of your hand these coming days. All right, Frank, got you dropped in. Take a little ride, big fella. Good luck, Frank. You'll be fine. Came through great. I know. So you'll be able to go down to the ICU tomorrow and see for yourself. What? Don't 
get me wrong, Kelly. I love the guy. I really do. I'm really happy for him. I know you are. But how long do I have to wait? know how to spell well enough to play Scrabble? No dirty words allowed. Well, uh, what uh, qualifies as a dirty word in your book, huh? Emotions, vulnerability, propinquity. If you can spell propinquity, I'll give it to you. You're on. Bring it. So we'll head on down to PT. Okay. Good. Jasper, I have some bad news for you. Oh, no. No! need to calm down or you're going to be next. He did, he did everything right, man. I know. I mean, he, he exercised. He, he ate right. I mean, the man was walking already. And now you tell him he's dead? Just like that, he's dead? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing it for them, you know, all this, for those, those babies of mine. It would really be so much easier just to go on and die, but we can't just die, can we? We have to suffer first.
Jasper got his heart, too. He had serious complications, Callie. It was touch and go. Still, someone should have told me. Well, it looks like it might take longer, but we think he's going to make it. Okay, just two more. Very good, very good. See if you can bend your right knee. you like to work. <laughs> you people are crazy.
whatsoever? Except my gums, they bleed whenever I brush my teeth. Well, you can live with that. I can live with that. And emotionally? I'd say I'm not back to myself yet. Meaning? I get distracted. Mm. And I notice things. Things? Like how a leaf dances on the wind. I'm afraid I can't give you anything for that. <laughs> Hi, darling. Good morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at you, walking already. That's sweet. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> I heard there was trouble up here. I came to say so long. Well, look at you. They said you would take a few more weeks, but you look great. Now Doc Jackson tells me you're moving to the rehab. I'm in there right now, as a matter of fact. <laughs> How are you feeling? Better? Uh, I feel like a new man, don't you? I wouldn't say I feel like a new man, no. You know what I'm talking about. The part nobody tells you about. You look good. Healthy. Full of vinegar. In the pink. That and much more. You, uh... You want to dance? Uh... I don't dance. You don't or you won't? Can't. Can't dance? Well, what if your Gene Kelly comes along, woman? He'll have to make do with a cartoon mouse, I suppose. Oh, well. Hey, <laughs> And then Sunday I was sitting in worship service and I tried to listen to what the preacher had to say but all I could think about was how I wanted some strawberry pop. Strawberry pop? I haven't had strawberry pop since I was 16 years old down in Tennessee. I haven't even wanted it since then. But Sally and I got in the car and we took a drive until we found a little store that even sold it and I drank Two bottles on the way home. Two bottles? Nothing ever tasted so good. And that's when I decided I, I was just going to try. Just write a letter to them. But that's against the rules. Not if I go through the transplant organization. Her family can decide whether to see me or not. Some woman lost her life and I got to live because of it. I want to at least say thank you to someone who loved her.
Hey, Kelly. I was thinking, what if we took dancing lessons for exercise? Okay, I'm totally serious. It's supposed to be good and aerobic, and I happen to enjoy it. I'm not sure if you're aware, but there's a new study that says waltzing. I can't dance. You can't dance if you don't even try. I dreamed about you. Oh, God, don't tell me. No, don't be embarrassed, Kelly. It was really nice. Your idea of nice is the lovely Lila wearing pearls. You know, you keep treating me like the guy who was waiting for his heart, not the guy who has it. You look like the same guy to me. Well, the guy walking here doesn't think it's enough to go home to the lovely Lila. <laughs> I'm serious, Callie. I'm serious. You know, that's the thing. That's the major thing. I'm just a little lonely. been through a lot, Jasper. I mean, your body's chemistry is... Are you lonely? Um... Yeah, I am. Well, is it the kind of loneliness that goes away if you're playing Scrabble or work? Dance. No, it's not. Well, would it go away if I uh, if I walked you home? I don't know if I really want it to go away. It feels like it has a purpose. Like it ties me to something I never want to lose. To someone? Bye, Jasper. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. city isn't losing any ground, so the exercise is doing its job against the prednisone. Are you still observing leaves dancing in the wind? Do you believe in cell memory? There is no scientific evidence to substantiate that it exists. It is a romantic notion. You never struck me as a romantic, though. I haven't been. And again, you've never observed leaves dancing in the wind before, either. There's this little girl, and I look for her every day. And I dream about her. Hmm. You think she has something to do with your donor? My donor was her mother, Jane Cummings. You contacted the family. I just looked her up on the internet. That's all. I knew the night she died. I knew it had to be in close proximity of the hospital. It, and I'm a reporter. I couldn't help myself. Callie? It's not that terrible. But Darlene's meeting her donor's family. But this is a child. 
a little girl who has lost a lot. I know, I know. I can't stop thinking about her. Before my surgery, I was an aloof person who needed no one. And now, that little girl tugs at me every day, Doc. Every day. Shouldn't I follow my heart on this? regret not having had a child. Oh, I had a child. I had you. I mean, a real child. Oh, weren't you real then? With all those skin knees and runny noses and endless games of Scrabble? Those weren't real? And the hugs were real, too. Yes, they were. Does all this nosiness mean that you're wanting a baby then? Well, that's impossible. Maybe impossible for your body, but, um... Just... Seems like something's missing from my life. What my heart wants is not necessarily what my heart can have. Watch over the rest of us. They're invisible most of the time. Except when you really, really need them. Come on, kids. Come on, go. Come on Is he one too? I'll still see you, okay? Okay. What did she say? She thinks we're her guardian angels. You see what she drew? Oh, poor thing. What are you doing here? You really don't know. Know what? I, uh... I got her daddy's heart. But the newspaper said that he was only 
hurt. It said he was in the ICU. Well, he left it the hard way. How do you know? Doc Jackson. And I basically told the doctor that I, I needed to know something that happened to this guy. You know, I did a little something, anything. He told you about about me, no, about my. Me, me. I, uh, I figured that out when I saw you skulking around here. Skulking? I, I relax, dear. Believe me, it takes a skulker to know one. But it's so real. Isn't it so real? I mean, these feelings I'm having are the most authentic feelings I've ever had in my life. And they're so powerful. I know. It's... <laughs> Nothing here we can eat. Sure there is. We'll trash our new hearts, and then where will we be? What can I get you? We'll have three hot dogs, two orders. I'm right up. Three? Two for me, one for you. <laughs> I know I can't really be this hungry, but I just feel so hollow all the time. In the middle of the night? Completely ransacked the freezer. My poor sister, she cooks ahead for me. Makes everything to freeze. Only, she doesn't figure out my appetite. I ate an entire tub of chocolate sorbet the other night Ooh. between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m. An entire tub? Zero grams of fat, at least. Yeah, well. You know, hollow? Mm. It's a perfect word for it. Constantly trying to fill myself up. And there was the first time I saw her. And she was getting off the bus. And she came down that last step with that little hop of hers. And uh, she looked to the house to see whoever, whoever was usually there. And then, like, all of a sudden, Kelly, she remembered. They were never gonna be there again. And then she went limp. And, Kelly, I swear, my heart, it just raced for her. Sweetheart, you had nothing to do with that happening. Kids, class, everyone over here. Just tell them, okay? I didn't mean to. Come on. All right, everybody here? Come on. I don't know about this. About what? Us. 
what we're doing. Feels like we're toying with her. Yeah, I know. When all we want is to be close to her. I know. Thanks for walking me home, Jasper. All right. I'm sorry, darling. It was just so sad. Those poor people, they were trying so hard. But every time they looked at me, they only saw me, not her, not their daughter. <laughs> their daughter who loved George Harrison in roller skating. And Strawberry Pop. Hello, Rose. You missed your deadline. Don't rub it in. No, I just wanted to hear what it sounded like to say that to you. Ha ha. So, what's the problem? I don't know. I guess my heart's just not into it. Oh, that's funny, Callie. Yeah. I know what you're doing, but you should know that I am going to call the police. We are here to protect our children, and we are very disturbed to see you here on a consistent basis stalking the students. I'm not stalking anyone. We'll let the authorities make that determination. Please, wait. I'm not here to cause anyone any harm. I just, uh... I need to ask you a question. Did you know Jane Cummings? She taught here, didn't she? She was an organ donor. I'm the one who got her heart. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be gone myself by now. She was the other second grade teacher. I'm sorry. She was my friend. When I woke up with Jane's, I woke up with all these longings that don't belong to me. They belong to her. I can't pretend to understand what you've been through. And I know Jane would be very happy to know she gave you another chance at your life, but But I should get on with it, with my life. I wish I could. You don't know how much I wish I could, but I dream about that little girl every night. And I wake up every morning and I think about how much she must be hurting. And I want to take that away. What you're doing isn't right. It's confusing to Sarah. She thinks you're an angel. Look, if it's any comfort to you, she would be the one to understand this, what you're feeling. Jane would see the beauty in it. Thank you for saying that. I was at the hospital the day that Sarah was born, and Jane had this look of joy in her eyes, and she said, Look at our little cricket. Jane loved her so much. Would you please give Cricket a hug for me? Jasper. Jasper, did you even hear what I said? Yes, you said we shouldn't go back. I said we can't go back. For Cricket's sake. It'll only end up hurting her more. She's too young to really understand. We're crazy stalkers, for all anyone knows. 
But who's to say we're not? Hey, maybe we both got a little pump head, Kelly, okay? But we're certainly not dangerous. Maybe we are. Hey, speak for yourself. Well, how's she gonna feel when she finds out we're not two enchanted emissaries from heaven ferrying back and forth messages to her mom and dad? When she finds out we're just two people made of flesh and blood and pretty weak flesh at that. We ought to write the grandfather a letter. I got this yesterday. That's why I called you in. You can read it for yourselves. But basically, the grandfather has decided it is in the child's best interest if you do not see her or talk to her. She has just lost both her parents. I'm sorry. I'm going over there. Where? To talk to that old man. Jasper, I don't think you should do that. He, he said... He to see how we feel, Kelly. He has to see our faces and still tell us no. Letters. Hey, listen, uh, we're not here to say... I know who you are. M Mr. Lanerth, look, we know this is hard. I have to protect my granddaughter. I have to protect her, and you people are going to have to leave us alone. Remember that winter you made the quilt? I watched you sewing together all the pieces of Mom's dresses. That was a terrible winter. I couldn't imagine a way you'd ever be happy again in your life. I thought maybe now you'd be happy. I thought so too. You should try and find a way. There are a lot of paths to happy. Just choose one, okay? Very good, I gotta admit it. You're very good. Well, Aunt Cass had to keep me occupied somehow. It was a long childhood. Are you going to go back part time while you're in the master's program? With the prison? No. They won't take you back? No, they take me back. Probably give me a phone job or something like that. They like having me around. I miss being a correction officer. But. I like being there. It certainly gave me enough time to read, play Scrabble, and joke around with the guys. Basically, I just got to get on with it. Here, lean down. Every move a pitch here. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. What, is, what does that add up to be? I don't have the heart to tell you. What are you talking about? That is a double word score, baby. Add it up. Cyclosporine is spelled with an O, not an E. No, it isn't. 
Yes, it is. I should know that. You should know that. It's only the thing that's keeping you alive. Are you challenging me? Yes, I'm challenging you. This is a, an official... An official challenge. I don't need that, Jasper. I can go to my medicine cabinet right now and prove you wrong like that. Well, then go right ahead and challenge me. Uh. <sighs> All right, I'll give it to you. Add it up and write it down. Thank you. Puts your head by 30 points. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. Uh, I have to laugh. Why? Because you're going soft, baby. You're going soft. I am not. Because you darn well know that cyclosporin is spelled with an O, not an E. You know it. So? I'll be right there. What have you gone and done now? Hmm? I caught a fever. Where's Doc Jackson? Right here. What's wrong? We've taken blood. We're working the problem, aren't we, Jasper? Sure, Doc. You sure you want her here? You want your blood pressure to uh, spike? Nah, she can stay. She'll behave. Dr. Jackson? Thank you. He fell asleep. I didn't want him to wake up alone. Of course. He's going to be okay, isn't he? Well, first we've got to figure out what's gotten a hold of him. If it's a simple creature, we'll just whack it with some antibiotics. And if it isn't? Don't assume the worst case, Callie. I know you. He just... He's been through so much. Mm. He wants so much, so much more. Did you know he's going back for his master's in social work? Mm. He wants to help kids in trouble before they end up in the state pen forever. Callie, we'll do our best. Sometimes you can do everything right and... I used to 
earlier. I was just dreaming about her. About cricket. You are? What was she doing? She was laughing. There is this big maple tree. Huge old thing with a swing. And I was pushing her into the sky. And she kept wanting to go higher and higher. And it was like her laughter was made of bubbles. And it just floated around all over that day. Everywhere you looked, there was her, her laughter. It's beautiful, Jasper. Jasper, that is certainly not going to help you. I want you to go home and get your rest. Come back tomorrow. But it's always going to be this way, isn't it? There are always going to be dangers lurking around for heart transplant patients, Callie. The immune system has to be continually suppressed so that the heart is not rejected. This is the price. So no happily ever after. I'm not saying that. Within the bounds of what we can control... Oh, great. So happily ever after, within the bounds of what we can control. I'm sorry. It is a series of adjustments. You'll see. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. This is highly unorthodox. Yeah, don't spoil this, Kelly. You're gonna love it. <sighs> okay, when can okay. I look? Right now. Well, clearly you're feeling better. You're cheating. Look at it. You're not even looking at it. Wait, you're cheating. That's look. more than seven letters. Propinquity. That's... That's 11 letters. First time we played it, you said if I could if I could spell it, you'd let me have it. But you cheated. You hid the extra tiles in your jammies or something, and then you had the audacity to put it on a triple word score? I really don't want the triple word score. You don't. I want the propinquity. Do you know what the definition of propinquity is? Of course I do. I mean, what it is. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Tell me. It means closeness, proximity, nearness.
Jasper, where is he? Hold on. He's been released, Callie. That's all, girl. Released. Released. against butter? Yes, I do. Lemon is better for you. <laughs> Try the lemon. Well, and you got to open it up first. An aristocrat, huh? Yeah, you got to open up the shell oh, right, right, next right. to the meat. I'm sorry, pal. That's right. Mm. Better you than me. <laughs> I realized I was afraid, okay? Afraid of what? Of losing you. When you were sick like that, I... I was afraid, and then I was afraid because I was afraid because... I meant that you cared? I never really let myself care. Never? Gave up on that a long time ago. After my mom died. Is that because you hurt too much? Because Dad's did. No matter what I did, I knew he was never going to be happy again. <laughs> Maybe he's just got an uptight personality. You ever think about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't have much of a personality when he was yelling at me. You deserved that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It may have seemed like he was yelling at you, but he wasn't. He was yelling at himself for letting me get sick. Grief is a funny thing. If you're not careful, it gets all tangled up with the good. It makes it all miserable. Which is why I'm so worried about, about Cricket. I don't want grief, especially her grandpa's grief, to get in the way of her experiencing all that life has for her. This is her. Teach me to dance. All right, let's give it a whirl. All right, here. Block. They do a happy family. Totally steamed. You're not hungry. There's practically no fat in it. I, I, I am hungry. It's not hunger, Kelly. You're not in. <laughs> I, I. 
I, I can't. You want me to call Doc Jackson and ask for his permission? Oh. All this excitement. she might be able to understand she ever got the chance I gotta tell you that's beautiful Kelly how long have you been doing this a while now whenever I can't sleep you ought to send it to her actually we ought to send it to her we ought to respect her grandfather's wishes look I made him into a kindly gnome. <laughs> she must think we just disappeared. Yeah, but we didn't. We're still here. Just biding our time. Hey, print this out. I want to get a closer look. And, uh... How about some breakfast? Starving. You sure? Almost sure. You know we're gonna have to get out of this house at some point. <laughs> <laughs> we will. At some point. <laughs> yeah, that's your move. Hmm. What's that? That's not a word. Wed me? That's a question. Wed me? What do you say? <sighs> Isn't it kind of precipitous? Jasper character is who you wanted to bring home. Will he behave himself? He's too afraid of Dad's not to. So 
Dark Waltz. Announcement to make. Kelly. Let me, with your blessing, Kelly and I would like to get married. Married? Have a wedding? But you haven't known each other over a few months. Our hearts have known each other for years. They were together for nearly a decade. Todd's... as you when I'd be in bed at night feeling scared I'd think you were looking in on me every once in a while I wasn't cut out for being the dad it was her figured I was your mom figured I could keep a watch over you keep you safe I knew something about that line of work she said Safe and warm and loved. He's a good man. He'll watch over me. You can count on that. You better. Or he'll be answering to your old daddy. I felt like I was shopping for a Halloween costume. I hardly recognized myself in it. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna recognize you. I'm the one who matters. Mm. Mm.
loaded in with her wedding invitation. Cry for me, for I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. What? You remind me of a little girl I knew a long time ago. Callie, you better get upstairs and get dressed. And where's Jasper? He cannot get married in that old T-shirt. Watching the road. I keep hoping, you know. I know. But whatever happens or doesn't happen, at least I found you. And I found you. Hmm. You know, I almost said again right then. I almost said I found you again. Too. Maybe we do have pump head. Oh, we definitely have pump head. No question about that. <laughs> We've got pump head. Oh, I guess. You're not supposed to cry. in life the most joyful they can come out of the most sorrowful yes I tried to love you enough for the two of us put together me and your mom both you did <gasps> you did
after all. We uh, got lost. Oh, look, look, look that, that's okay. We're just, we're just glad you're here. Uh, it's against my better judgment, but um. Thank you. From the bottom of. She read that fairy tale to me every night at bedtime since it came in the mail. Every night. And she kept asking to come. And I kept saying no. But it's made a difference for her. Having the fairy tale. Well, that's a true story. Do you want to see how it ends? Yay, I love the end. That's the best part of all. Thank you. Here they go! So Callie made a promise to Jasper, and Jasper made a promise to Callie that they would fit their hearts together and save a place between them that would always belong to a little girl named Cricket. <laughs> you can now kiss the bride. Don't you believe in plain old happily ever after? 
I wish I could. Well, I'm going to. You know what? Me too. <laughs> Come on, Sally. Two against one. Okay. Say it. Okay, okay. I believe in plain old happily ever after. <laughs> Come on. One, two, three. Woo! It's Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Gold Crown Christmas Week. Christmas was the time for miracles. You're invited to the most wonderful movies of Christmas in July. There's nothing I want more in the world. From Hallmark Movies and Mysteries to you. Magical things happen at Christmas. And you wait for it all year. The premiere of the 2016 Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Gold Crown Christmas Week, July 1st.